Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another feature flurry. Today, we're going to talk about Snowflake native apps. My name is Phoebe He, and I'm a senior product marketing manager at Snowflake, focusing on applications. And today, I'm joined by Umesh. Umesh, would you like to introduce yourself? Absolutely, Phoebe. Hi, everyone. This is Umesh Jaktab. I'm a principal product manager at Snowflake, focusing on Snowflake native applications framework. Awesome. Thanks for joining us today, Umesh. I've heard that Snowflake Native App Framework empowers business to build their app and their business with Snowflake. Could you elaborate on this feature? Absolutely, happy to. So Snowflake Native Applications Framework is an entirely new way of building, distributing, and monetizing data-intensive applications right in the Snowflake Data Cloud. With native apps, you can build amazing applications with Snowflake building blocks. You can distribute and monetize them through Snowflake's global marketplace, and what's great about these applications is that they run directly close to the customer data. Some of the benefits for the providers is that as providers, you can seamlessly drive revenue by getting access to more than 8,000 enterprise Snowflake customers. You can distribute and monetize your applications through Snowflake Global Marketplace, so you don't have to figure up, worry about the distribution channel. And we guarantee that your data and code stays secure from the customer access. For consumers of these applications, they can instantly access amazing applications on Snowflake Marketplace without leaving Snowflake Data Cloud. And obviously, because you can run these applications close to your data, your data stays within the Snowflake Data Cloud. Super cool. So given that you're one of the pioneers of this feature, could you share some history of Snowflake native apps with us? So why did Snowflake decide to develop this in the first place? Yeah, so just to give you everyone a quick history lesson, Snowflake started as the first cloud native data warehouse and our customers love us for the simplicity and the performance. Uh, over a period of time, as we grew our ambition, we became Snowflake Data Cloud and two of the building blocks that were really fundamental in the Snowflake Data Cloud ambition were the extensibility which allows our customers to program right in the Snowflake data cloud to make the most use of their data. And the second building block was the Snowflake marketplace, which allowed providers, data sharing providers to share their data with the customers. So with Snowflake native applications framework, we are really bringing these two foundational building blocks together where our application providers can use the programmability and the extensibility aspects of the Snowflake data cloud and share their applications just like data on the Snowflake uh, marketplace. Fantastic. So this feature entered a public preview during Summit, which was just several months ago. Are there any apps available on the Snowflake marketplace already? Yes, there are more than 50 applications that are live on the Snowflake marketplace and obviously hundreds and hundreds of applications that are being built today. Just to give you all a quick example of what kind of applications are possible on Snowflake, People have built ETL connectors to bring the data from their favorite applications and databases into Snowflake Data Cloud. We have data enrichment apps. We have data sharing solutions like Cybersyn that are really amping up their solutions with Streamlit in Snowflake. We have data privacy apps, apps that are using Snowflake metadata for efficient cost governance. There are data clean rooms and industry vertical solutions like master data management apps in the financial services data cloud. And obviously, many horizontal solutions that include sentiment analysis um, and so forth. And just to give you all a great example of what kind of providers, what kind of applications are being built, this is just a set of applications that we see on the Snowflake marketplace today. And obviously, this list is in growing every single day. So I would like to take this opportunity to give you all a very high-level perspective on what it means to build um, and use these applications. So for application providers, you can start by building your Snowflake native app in your worksheets or in Visual Studio Code. You can use user-defined functions, stored procedures written in SQL, Snowflake scripting, JavaScript, any of the Snowpark runtimes like Java, Python, Scala. And obviously, very soon, we are going to support Snowpark container services. The UI for these applications can also be built in Streamlit, which is available in public. Once you're ready and completed building your applications, you are ready to distribute and monetize your applications. 
For that, you can use the private listings. You can publish your app as public listings in Snowflake Marketplace. As application providers, you have a ton of flexibility to choose your business models. You can charge your customers for as monthly payments, one-time payment. Maybe you have some data in your application that you want to charge based on number of queries that the customers have executed, or you can completely create a new flexible billable metric that you decide and charge for your customers. So you have a ton of flexibility. Once you have distributed your application on the Snowflake marketplace, there are primitives available for you to confidently and safely deploy your changes to your customers. The application framework gives you versions, the, the upgrade framework, the release directives to target specific versions to specific customers. And obviously there's logging and tracing framework within the native applications framework that you can use to debug your applications. Also, you can use the logging and the tracing framework that Snowflake provides so that you can troubleshoot your applications very seamlessly. Now let's move on to the consumer side. So as a consumer of these applications, you can go to the Snowflake marketplace, discover amazing applications on the Snowflake data cloud without leaving Snowflake. You can be rest assured as a consumer that all the versions are automatically reviewed by Snowflake for security threats and abuse. So these are trusted application providers and trusted applications that you can find on the Snowflake marketplace. As a customer, you can try your applications before you buy them with time trials, 30, 60, 90 day trials. You can purchase your apps using your ex existing Snowflake capacity commitment. And you can install and deploy these applications, as I said, close to your data, while keep being in full control of your data. Once you've installed your application, you can decide what an application can do in your account by granting it account level privileges or object level permissions. And as the app account admin, you can have full visibility into what the application does inside your account. So that was a very quick overview, Phoebe, of what's possible today and how to build applications and use them with Snowflake Native Apps Framework. This is fantastic information. So before we conclude, do you have any final thoughts or insight you'd like to share with our audience? Are there any best practices or tips you'd recommend? The framework is available in public preview. So start using these applications, start building these applications if you are in AWS and try out the framework. Um, some best practices, look at the security guidelines just so you understand what kind of applications pass the security reviews and what is a no-go when it comes to the security of these applications. And then understand the versioning, the upgrade framework, so that you are building the applications and building new versions when you really have to. One last question. How do we get started? And where can we learn more about Snowflake Native Apps? Great question, Phoebe. So we have a ton of resources to get you started, right? From quick start guides to create forums where you can answer questions. And obviously there is Snowflake documentation on the Native Applications Framework. That's wonderful. Thanks again for your time today, Umesh. To keep up with other feature flurries and additional contents for developers, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.